Wait, I'm recording. Okay. Hi. What's that? I'll be right. I'll be right with you. Right? I'll be. I'll be right with you. We on? We on? We on? Let's turn this down. Turn this so far down. So so amazingly far down. So so far down. So far down. So far down. Hey. What? Hey. What? I don't even know if I'm in focus. I don't. I have no clue. So, um, hi. Hi, all. Hi, every- One sec. Hi. Um, my name is James. I run this channel. First off, thank you to FT Signifier for the shout out. Um, second off, I, I'm sorry that the first video that comes up after this, uh, is about eggnog. I'm not gonna change that for you. I have other stuff that I'm working on that's a little bit more thought-provoking. But you're gonna listen to me talk about my favorite holiday beverage. I do a reaction at the beginning, but I forgot to like say, ooh, I'm gonna react to a video because I was just like on the fly and I had really low energy at the beginning. So it, I just jumped right into the reactions and stuff. Do I call my mom? Like, what do I do? Mom, I got clout. <laughs> All right, um, enjoy the video, I guess. It was a week before Christmas, and all through the town, decorations were up and temperatures down. This is great. That's right. We're talking eggnog. Unlike the other items in their lineup, Dairy Maid's eggnog is only produced two months out of the year. Cowards. I'm look. I'm just gonna put this out there. Only, only the real eggnog fans will, 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 will uh drink it all the way through November and December until they hate it and themselves okay it only seems right and it only seems fair to to develop an unhealthy relationship with 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 the thing that you're consuming what did i just say during the 2017 season dairy maid produced about 80,000 gallons of the rich nutmeggy beverage <laughs> that rich nutmeggy beverage <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. And all of that eggnog began its journey on a farm. Some of it just 20 miles down the road at Maple Dell Farm in Woodbine. Here, farmer David Patrick and his family milk 170 cows Damn. on 93 acres. Damn, boy. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick-ass boy. Damn, boy. My great-grandfather purchased this farm. We say sometimes they're almost like humans. They are so friendly and gentle. That's the pretty part about it. I know that the vast majority of farms that produce cow's milk, the cows are being treated just grotesquely, horribly. And it's just, it's, it's, I want to trust this, this nice old man, but I, you know, there's sort of a, a grain of salt with everything that he says in relation to like how much he cares about the cows. This could be a great farm. I don't, I don't know this guy. It might say more about later, but right now, a little trepidatious. It is really important that you milk on a regular schedule so that that udder is not pressured and cause problems by having too much milk at one time. See, that's so, it's so fucked, right? These cows can't live without being milked like they can't live comfortably without without the human intervention of milking them this particular cat right here is milking 150 pounds a day right now since 1944 the average amount of milk produced by a single dairy cow has increased fivefold largely because of advances in breeding and feed technologies advances is doing a lot of legwork there we force the fat ones to fuck the other fat ones that's what we call advancement in breeding no matter what the plant is producing that day step one is always the same we receive that milk and we actually separate it into skim milk and heavy cream next the two components are mixed back together in the correct proportions hmm. then it's time to put the egg in this nog the eggs we use are real eggs. They're actually pasteurized and then dried. We put sucrose, liquid sucrose in the tank. AKA sugar. You know, I, 
I really appreciate the reporter there being like, it's sugar. Okay, let's not, let's not be dodgy. Yeah, you put friggin' sugar in there. Uh, didn't know that you just powdered eggs. I think that's actually kind of neat. Uh, I feel like they could probably sub out for vegan eggs and no one would notice if they're already dehydrating it and like separating it from the the hard part about eggs, which is like the shape and the, the texture and everything. I don't know. Just a thought. So remember this winter when eggnog's at hand to say thanks to the farmers, their cows, and the land. And from Dairy Made Dairy with its holiday grog, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good dog. When, when I'm up in Massachusetts, I'll try it out when, when we're up there. And I guess this is a good an opportunity as any to talk about factory farming. This is not your, your cousin's farm where they have a few animals and they might produce every now and again. They probably sell the extra stuff to like their neighbors or local community and they eat the rest of their own. No, this is this is a this is a business model. This is this is like a, a highly industrial process uh, in which this person probably has hundreds of cows in several buildings where they where they milk these cows, um, and and just produce uh, so so much so much milk and so much shit and burps. Do milking cows also get used for slaughter? According to MSPCA agent, all dairy cows eventually end up in slaughter. Both the dairy and beef industries feed into the same system. On the bodies of female dairy cows is so intense that many of these cows become down. This term refers to cows that are so sick and or injured that they are unable to walk or even stand. Yeesh, Google. <laughs> Factory farming bad. What what else is there to say, right? We you you know you know, and and I know, and I love cheese, and I love eggnog, and I I'll, I'm happy to admit that. Um, but it, I I shouldn't say happy. I wish I wish that the substitutes were better. So today I'm actually going to be trying a couple uh, more substitutes uh, than I did last time. Last time I just tried the almond nog, and this time I'm going to be trying both lactate and and uh, oat nog. Uh, which is made by Chobani, I think. I'm actually really looking forward to uh, the the oat nog. A friend of mine recommended it to me. I didn't even know they made it yet, so should be exciting. For editing later, this remains a four star nog. I really wish I liked that oat nog more. I had really high hopes, but it, it, it really was just like drinking oat water. Like someone just soaked a bunch of oats in in a glass of water for a long time. It was it wasn't it wasn't pleasant at all to drink. Uh and that lactate was um better than I really think it deserved to be, which is deeply upsetting. Hey, yeah, no, don't trust him. Don't trust him. Uh, he doesn't know yet about lactate. Um Every time I've had a sip of it since filming that, it's hurt my stomach, like, a lot. Um, so, <laughs> I was wrong. That two and a half, we're gonna, we're gonna lower that way down. We're gonna lower that way down to active pain. Um, so yeah, just ignore any sort of positive feedback I have to say about that. Completely, uh, shielded by the deliciousness of green wise coating my digestive tract, I believe. Yeah, this is an eggnog milkshake. Because I, I hate the concept of lactate because the way lactate works is like it's still all the cruelty of, of factory farming, but they they use a they use a chemical process to remove the lactose from the milk. Oh, and I, I'm so disappointed by the promised land eggnog because their strawberry milk is just the best. It is the best strawberry milk that I've ever had. So it, it's kind of a shame that they don't know how to flavor eggnogs. It's sort of bitter, which I'm not a fan of. And what I was talking about with the lactate it getting worse after like three or four sips, it sort of gets a sour note. Um, sort of a milky note is what it gets. It tastes like, it starts to taste more like milk than eggnog. I guess I do this every year now. There are worse traditions. It's the stupidest video I've ever done.
That's aggressively bad. Hi, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, ring a bell. Somebody's bell. Why would you ring a bell? Why would you want to why would you want to why would you want to be notified every time I upload a video? That's weird.